Welcome to the Unification Series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And we're picking up on the 3rd of September 1968, which is several months on from the end of the last video, for a reason which I'll explain in a little while. But first, a bit of an update of where we are with respect to our area. We've got a population of 5,249 and we are start when we've got no unemployment at the moment which is a bit of a problem now the uh i've made a couple of changes in this area in the sense that i've put a police station here because to be honest i don't think this police station is really hacking it you can see the numbers of crimes that are building up i mean they are um but they're not really solving it and i think part of the problem is that we're not getting the police officers officers in here and that might be down to the fact that we don't have the education now so what i'm going to do is what i've done is put a bigger police station in here i've also noticed that i do need to have some more um accommodation here so this is actually a modded tower block here which i've put in which is this one here and i've also put in two more of these blocks here to expand out this way so we got this area to do here now i want to give you a bit of an update because if you watched the previous video i talked a little bit about adding these helicopter pads to the uh this area here and it wasn't connected and of course what the thing i did forget was the fact that you need to do some research to be able to unlock that if we come right down the bottom i think it's where is it it's part of the see here somewhere i know it it can be oh here it is here so to get helicopter hospital helicopters we need a uh, medical university and to get firefighting we need to do that research there but that's not top priority now also uh another thing that i talked about is universities and i and in that video i talked a little bit about this one here this is going to be our medical research university just tucked in here because there isn't that much to do in the way of medical research so there's no point building a major um university i mean it's and maybe later on we'll build one but i think it's far more better just to use a modded one to get that key research done I just want to check on the way through here. At the moment, we're doing our introduction to mortality. I don't think we're doing, and we're also searching fire prevention here. Now, overall happiness is at 80%. We've now got our government loyalty to 49%. So I think we can... Uh, I don't want to go to 50% yet. We've got a traffic jam. Okay, yep. Yeah, we've got still building trying to build too much at the moment i do really need to fix that now the reason why we are several months on well i got a little bit carried away and this was meant to be a proof of concept and what this is is a large farm in this area and what i wanted and originally i just set out with on the with the idea of seeing if i could actually get a large farm in here but i didn't intend to save it but then i did do save it just accidentally so i've now got this large farm out here now i'm not going to it's going to be some time before it's going to be built simply by the, down to the fact that um we don't have the fertilizer to be able to uh actually um keep this area fertile so one option i might go for um once i've um finished all the other key elements to the game is that i will build this and then just run it without fertilizer uh then now another change i've made here is the fact that well, i've put a second chemical plant in here i've put a grain silo here which is connected to it and i've put a kind of um, fuel storage here for the oil to come in because i was looking at the fact that we've got these crossings here and we do need to get out here and of course in the last part we revealed all the resources on the map and what we're looking to do is get into this area but of course you can see it's going to be a little bit difficult the other alternative which i'm kind of half thinking about 
is that we could come in from this side here with roads but we would have to kind of a bit of a sketchy road coming in from this area in fact what i could do is um is remove this road and then build uh, into this area because we still got this path here for shipping so we might need to be able to kind of just push into this area here but again it's very relatively low priority in fact i'm just going to speed the game up a bit at the moment my main concern is kind of getting out in this direction so that we can start to put together a a gravel industry because then what that will do is sort out a perennial traffic jam that i have here which can be a little bit of a problem because of course all, most of these trucks are going for gravel and uh, asphalt so that's it now economically we are kind of still losing money so i'm going to have to kind of curb our enthusiasm and if we're going to keep get things under control before we run actually physically run out of money so going forward now we're just gonna to have to scale back some of our endeavors but generally beyond that things are working okay and of course we are going into winter so what i'm gonna do is concentrate on well we got the chemical plant finished and what that means is i can come to here Um, actually I think what we can do is send this guy back to here and you can pick up logs and drop them off there 100% what we can do is fill this with logs uh and we can find this guy here we can add the final connection to there and you can unload crops 100 percent i mean it's not going to be much because it's only going to be eight tons of crops but we might also get things set up now gravel is going to be a little bit of a challenge um and of course the oil as well but i'm not going to import that just yet because we can't get the workforce out here because we haven't actually finished all our underground infrastructure so at the moment there's no point importing anything here just want to see get that built as well so i want to focus on here he's going to drop off one load and um, that will be it all 10 tons in there <laughs> And there goes the eight tons of crops haha <laughs> now i do have a bit of a loading unloading problem here i think what i might do is set you to unload there because i think we've got more than enough in here at the moment for this harvest cycle we're already on september and And I think at the moment what we've got is oops, a little bit of confusion here. Um, what we do need to do is start to try and pull in some crops from this area. Let's have a look. And we don't have, I mean we are pulling the crops out in the fields, it's just that we're not Picking up the things, um, part of me says that I could probably do with some more combines, but I think we've got a maximum here now. What we do need to do now is just kind of unload everything from here for the moment. So that brings us up to here. Uh, I think our guys here are, yeah, you're building these roads in here. And what I'm going to and what I'm going to need to do now out here is possibly build we going to we need to build back down to hit from here to there to there so we're going to need to build through here 
to here to here and of course we're going to need to put power in as well so that's something we do need to go for um let's just have a look at our economy yeah we're see at the moment it's the traffic jam that's slowing everything up so we've now researched the uh thingy bob there and um, i think what i need to do now is let's just come here and um, we need to go for steel materials fatigue study because i want to get to steel cables so we need that to be researched I do wonder whether we've actually got enough. Um, we've only got 344 highly educated people. I, I feel that once this research is done, I think we're going to need to get some more profess party officials in here to kind of try and speed up our um, our kind of higher education. Because I don't think we've got enough to go around, to be honest. And that may be causing some of the problems that we've got, like with the police officers here, because these have to be highly educated as well. So maybe we do need to have that little bit of extra drive. Because, um, of course, not all our fully educated people will be have the necessary loyalty. So we could possibly... Uh, I could probably drop that to 40 40 percent I think and we might get a few more people in learning but I do like want to keep this high yeah I, I think we may have to curb our education standard at the moment um, I think maybe we're just drop you a, drop you down a little bit as well I mean, we are, I mean, the main driving force is coming from here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we need more educated people. Um, that's probably what's causing that problem. Um, right, next thing I want to just take a quick look at is wear and tear. Because I think we are a uh, whole map. Yeah, you can see now our site towers, which have been around from the beginning, are approaching 50%, which means they're starting to get a critical phase. We've got our first store that's moving towards possibly needing repairs. Vehicle wise, wear and tear. I think we've got vehicles under control, so that's going to work. Be working quite well. Let's have a look at our workforce. We need more workers. Um, although we are getting okay so what we're going to do is just let these now start educating more people um, getting them in there we're going to go over we're going to go for quantity over quality um, I mean, a lot of these people have got pretty good loyalty already, so I think we're we're going in the right direction. Is probably the best way to describe it. Um, how are we doing here? We still got a little bit of a queue here, but I think we're getting to the point now where um, let's buy fuel depot, guys. I think what we'll do is we'll buy a uh, if you've got any oil tankers oil tank um yeah we're gonna buy you yeah gonna go there oops no. wait for the oil tanker to get into there and then we're just going to need a little bit of gravel. I've got a dumper. You can go there. So we'll use this distribution office 
to get the necessary in there. In fact, I think what I will do is um, where well, remove that requirement from there and just keep these guys exporting the boards. I think we'll put you back in there. And then what we'll do is put you on. Whoops, then he went the wrong way. Put you on there. You can pick wood up and deliver the wood to there. I think it will keep you at, say, 80%. You can where's the construction waste? Where's the gravel? Uh I'm not can't don't understand this. Why can't you why is that saying that we can't get gravel from the Oh ah, sorry Right, so we're going to go there, custom shed, pick up the gravel if I can find it, and you're going to drop gravel there, and you're going to pick up oil, right, we'll just clear that there, what that would do is get everything in here that we need. All we need to do now is get some workers into this area. Um, I thought I had some mini buses. Well, have I got any mini buses running around here? It's like this guy's getting a little bit busier. Um, do with. Your proper buses. I had two sets of minibuses running around. Um, well, they must come in here sooner or later. Um, can't see them. We could probably find them here. Buses, micro buses. Right, where are you? Uh, we've got one micro bus that's there. You go to that. Yeah, we've got the micro buses in here. So what we'll do is you can pick up from there. Uh, load. Don't think. I think we won't use educated people. In fact, uh, then you will go to the chemical plant. Ah, no, 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 no. Made a mistake here. I, uh, you have got powers, but you've got no water. Okay, so we need the water connection now. Yep, sorry, made a mistake. Um... Yeah, there's no point putting that in just yet until we've got the water connection. So that's something else we need to sort out. It's going to cost us a uh, thing. We are making profit now because I'm scaling back the level of um, kind of what we're doing. What will happen is we'll probably lose these fences here because eventually the stuff... What I will do is we'll just put in, uh, just buy two police cars there, just so that you can try and work out the remainder of the crime, and we'll get uh, what's the cheapest ones we got here? One, two, three, four. I think what I am going to do is some of these um, where are you going um,
We're going to start restricting our educated people. I don't want the educated people here. We're going to push them into this area here. Get this here. Yeah, I mean, the crime rate isn't too bad. We just need to kind of try and get things going. How much spare accommodation have we got left now? I think we've now maxed out our... Uh, let me just see. What does it say? Unemployment too high, right? I think these people are just moving in. Um, how far can you walk? Right. I think we're... I think for the moment what we'll do is we'll have the picker send you back to there and we'll have the two police stations running side by side for the moment okay where is the unemployment it says we got 328 people unemployed Yeah, I think the problem is the unemployment's coming from the fact that our construction industry is kind of scaled back a little bit. Um, but at the same time, I don't... Well, I suppose what we could do is get... Start to build in that. And start building the medical university. That would be relatively cheap to build. And I suppose we could start work on that as well. Um, and then hopefully what will happen is uh, 23 people without jobs. Um, what we'll do is we're, we'll try and pull people from this area here. Um... Uh, I don't think these guys can go anywhere. Yeah, you're literally providing local services at the moment. Actually, I don't think you can even get to the prison, can you? Um, I think what we might be able to... I mean, the prison doesn't have maximum number of warders, so... If I... Up an asphalt path there... Yeah, that would get you to there. So we get our road crew working on that. There. They can build an asphalt path out to there. Right, up here, I just want to... Right. And I've also put in a gas station here as well. Um, these guys, I want you to work on... You can work on actually you to work on for the moment seeing winter's coming you can work on this area here so i want to open up this road into here on the 30th of october um how's the queue here Um, still got our little queue here, but um, we want need that built and that built. Oops, underground. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna. We need to focus on this to get some chemicals. Um, I think getting chemical, producing chemicals will be a big help, and that will be able to do. It. So we're going to work on that there. And we've got our micro buses ready to go. Yeah, we've got we're that back down now to two percent unemployment. How many educated people have we got now? Uh, that education is not rising. So let me just see. Yeah, we're not really. Uh, I think what we'll do is how many educated people yeah I've got to start trying to push more how can these people get to the university no that's part of the problem so we do really do need this built. Yeah, that's why I've got um, poor education standards because this part of the city is not being educated. So we're going to need to push this out a little bit further. Yeah, because I don't think these are getting a regular enough education to start improving. So we need that there. I could move the party headquarters over to here as well. And then. Yeah, part of the problem is that these are more kind of full type buildings. Actually, what I could do, this building is empty, isn't it? Um. To fill that block up what that will do is it will get we're going to get more party students into these areas and hopefully they will start learning some stuff and start being educated because what they will do is they will be resident here so that anyone in here who gets a full education will then be um, actually provide the workforce there actually that might be a way the way to go actually is to kind of yeah we got we got a few people with university educations in here um where are you working yep yeah, i think we're we can make this work um, especially once we've got this built. Um, again, it's missing gravel, which means they'll be queuing up over here. I think gravel is, despite being one of the lesser items in the game, it's it's starting to cause a bit of a problem. So maybe I do need to get um, a starting project running here. What I think we'll do is we'll get the ground crew on that. Start putting that together. Well, as I was hoping to kind of make money during the winter. Actually, I think what... No, we need to get the underground water cable done. Right, we're on the 14th of November. Um, We're actually doing quite well, actually. We nearly cleared all these fields and we're only on the 14th of november including the new large field that's up here that's being harvested i think improving the roads here has made quite a big difference it also kind of makes the case that we don't need to do these side roads just at the moment make them wait and then until we've got gravel and we've got here right these guys you need to start moving 
stuff into here now so that this doesn't overflow right how are we doing here One, three, yep. Okay. Um, I think we're going to make you a high priority. I think we're just about to get the final delivery of gravel, and that should now start to come together very, very quickly. Yeah, boards and gravel, we need another 110 tonnes of gravel. It's going to be a bit of a pain, but that's here. The one thing I've just realised is that these blocks won't have a garbage collection because this is going to be too far away. So we're going to have to put some uh, waste collection in here. It's always something to do in this game. Um... I think we'll tuck you in about there. We'll just use a mud footpath just into there. Connect that up. Right. right we've got 3% unemployment at the moment. It says due to small child... Um, Where's the kindergarten? Um, it says poor workers can't work due to... What's the radio station? Where's the kindergarten? Yeah, so it looks like we're starting to fill up the kindergarten here. So what we're probably going to need is another kindergarten here. Because um, we got the waste there, I think what we'll do is we're 120, 180, 270. Wow. Um, that, then again, we are going to build a very densely populated area here. So I think what we, we will definitely put in a large garden there that will fit very well with that unemployment too high yes um 93 workers without a job actually just had an idea yeah that's something i can make I, that's something i can do is if we put in a bus stop just here actually could I get a bus stop in somewhere else here um, got a, yeah I think if we put a bus stop here right get our road crew on that yeah it just suddenly occurred to me that if we put a bus stop here we can send instead of picking the chemical workers um being picked up from here they can be picked up from here and then we can take the surplus workforce and without detracting from this area here yeah i think we can make that work yep so we need to kind of express build this in fact i've just had a another little sneaky idea Um. Aha. Um, we can. So what it means is I can build the road and build this at the same time, and we'll take the mud road part, mud road out. Um, unless, of course, I actually. I could then build a road round the back here to connect to there and that will shorten the distance that these need to go right we're now on the 30th of November our, uh, looks like we had a tiny amount of losses on both builds we still got 
crops to be picked up here. Uh, I don't know if there's any trucks going out to actually collect it. I think all the trucks have abandoned it now. Yeah. So we've got... Yeah, those crops are rotting. Uh, we've got the last coming from there. Um, the combine is just given up here. Okay, well, that's the way it goes. We're nearly there, actually. That one's finished, so we just got to build in this line here. As I say, I want to slow down construction so that we can kind of keep our money over 500,000. 500, because what that does is it gives us a contingency. How's the... Yeah, this is coming together really nicely now we've got workers here and um, we've got a crane working as well so this should get um i mean the university is a little bit far away but we should plug the gap a little bit here Okay, nearly there. Yep. Also, we'll set this at 40%. What we will need in here is professors. <laughs> Maybe to begin with, we'll just reduce this down. Reduce the staff a little bit. What this will do is start educating people. Um, actually, I think I will go for... You're covering that side of the city. How far out do you cover? Um, no, I mean, that covers all this area. And now what this will do is fill in this area. And as we build out the footpath network here... We can get, yeah, I think that will work actually, guys. Uh, all right, that police station is working. Yeah, I think we got the crime under control with the two police stations working together. Um, I think. All right. How are we doing? We got the. I think probably the next tower block um has this actually got this is going to have no connection it might have a connection to there but we can always put in another waste deposit or waste connection there um i mean i think we need to build that in there get that built um get that on there so we can get that connection yeah. Right. We just need this built now. And in there. Come on, guys, you can do it. Four days left. Right. No workers. Uh, we've got. I could set a route up from here as we got surplus. I think for the moment we're just set the route up from here. You're going to pick up uh, those workers, preferably uneducated. If we need educated, we can. Uh, what happened there? Um, start again. Unload. I always thought the chemical plant needed engineers, but we'll find out. Uh, and we go there. I'll say I'll redo the routes when uh, we've got things working. 
So I want to double check. I'm absolutely sure chemical workers needed. Um, and what we're going to need is a covered hole. Um, I don't think all these covered holes here were working at 100% efficiency with the farm. So I think we can come there. It's already assigned. Chemical plant. Oops, no. I don't want you picking up stuff from there. Wait till the um, covered hole gets there. Now, uh, the moment we've got chemicals delivered here by truck, what we got here is chemicals here now i think what we're going to do to start with because the chemical plant will be unreliable with respect to the um with respect to kind of the workforce until that's stable what we'll do is we're only supplying the chemicals to here um what we got here And what we could do is take this fabric factory off of this one. Actually, what we'll do is we'll change the fabric factory here to 20%, which is, we can reduce it to 10%. You will load chemicals and you will deliver them to the fabric factory wherever it is and your delivery quota will be 80 percent what that will mean is that the chemicals being consumed here or should come from here actually i think just check the here as well um all related vehicles okay we've got a vehicle here that's yeah you're coming here and you're just delivering waiting to unload um, I think what we might do is degree pokery this a little bit later on is that actually connected that looks suspiciously like there's something there might be a problem with the may well, it should be connected um but i'm not seeing any flow in the wastewater although it is disappearing um yeah it is going it's just um, it's just me, so apologies. Um, so we are now producing chemicals. These guys will do their stuff and then we should be there. Of course, what this has got now is the potential for us to unlock synthetic fertilizers. And let me just check the research for that. Um, it comes under the chemicals unemployment too high yeah where is it plastics electronics or maybe it's not under yes we need to do fertilization first um. Okay, let me just we make this high priority, get this built. It's not assigned to a construction office. Aha. Right, this is now built so I can remove my dodgy bit of road here. And I think what we will do is pick up the road from there. Keep it close because I don't want to infringe on the the trees. Then you can come there. And we'll get that built. 
We'll build this, and then once this is built, um, actually, we we'll just put a sketchy little bit of whoops, just messed up this bit of road. Um, this here, no construction. Okay, I've messed this up. Um, right, we're going to get the Roku on that. That's going to have to be high priority as well. And then what we can do then is get some of these workers coming into here and then we can get the move the micro buses on from here yeah anyway i'm running out of time on this video so this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming